Yeah, I have, um, not really sure what the fragrance is for that. I think it's lavender. It's kind of it's kind of remind me of those um, Parma violet sweets. You get little um, fizzy things. Let's see here. Yeah, these little sweet things. And I guess it's lavender to the purpliness. Yeah, it's got a nice smell to it. It's not um, it's not bad at all. Like, yeah, it's quite um. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what kind of phrase to put on it, but that's not too bad. And next up, I think we have the spice bomb clone. So that's Advin. Let's see her. Add in a moment. Um, come on, order for us. Um, can't really read those, fucking hard to see. Right, um, again, one handed openings. Whoops, rip the box. Um, I've never actually smelled spice bombs, so I'm not gonna be able to compare it. That's not bad. It comes in another leather pouch. Yeah, I've never smelled spice bomb, but I think it's pink pepper, kind of cinnamon. Here's things. Um, oops, I broke it. <laughs> oh well. Shop. Right, let's go for the old sprayer. Yeah, I've had a whiff of the previous one and it's still there. Not too bad. Um, yeah, again, these are quite quick old views. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to comment on the lasting power. This really does smell like Palma Violet. So, if you want to smell like a, um, a sweet shop or something, I'd recommend this. Um, well, it's a good spray. <coughs> Probably should have smelled so close so soon. Oh yeah, I can smell the um Yeah, it's not bad. I think somebody described um spice bomb as similar to this Ted Baker spray. Um it's a black one I think. I did have a whiff here in boot and it's quite potent and spicy. And this does kinda of remind me of that. Yeah, it's quite. If it's quite warm, I guess that'll be the cinnamon kicking in. Um, yeah, it's nice. That is. I mean, for well, one pound thirty-five of these. Fucking hell. Did I? Uh, yeah, one thirty-five each. I mean, I don't get it. You know, like, how cheap is it to make these boxes? The like bottles, you know, just the accumulation of glass. I mean, the bottle feels solid, you know, it's pretty thick. Um, sprayer, give it a good amount of juice. Um, oh yeah, these are pretty much all 100 mils as well, so 100 mil for 1.35 is ridiculous price per mil, per milliliter. And yeah, you know, that's not a bad smell at all. Yeah, it's gaining now. It's kind of, I think it's getting the um, patchouli. I'm kind of getting a one million kind of fragrance popping out of it. Not one million like, but I guess that's the most compatible fragrance I can think of. So yeah, excuse the camera work on this video. I don't really want to film my face and I'm just kind of throwing the camera about, I guess. But yeah, um... <laughs> I'd recommend buying these to be honest. Um, probably not worth spending the f the quantity. Sorry, not spending. Not worth spending the amount you have to spend to meet the minimum order value. Just to get this, I haven't seen it sold in many places. But I'm guessing you know shops will probably buy these cheap and sell them for eight to ten pounds perhaps. 
maybe around that price mark. And, you know, you could do it yourself, you know, as a thought. Yeah, um, moments, moments. Not bad, recommended. Yeah, it's kind of really drying down now into a um, spice bomb, kind of one of this first one, the Advin. Sorry, not the first one. I'm still left with a very strong um, lavender smell from the sec from the first one. Yeah, so I'm in a bit of a dilemma now. I've bought so many fragrances over the past month or so that you know I don't really want to wear the cheaper ones really because I've got so many decent ones that I'd like to kind of get a feel for. So you know, there's a lot of things here. Um, yeah, there's a few clones. Um, jeez, probably going up to 40 perfumes this one now. Yep, anyway, so on to the next batch.